I feel when I enter a show, if I'm going to win my weight class as a heavyweight, no one's going to beat me in the overall because I'm going to be in the best condition of anyone. And I don't see how, if I weigh in at 258 pounds, that the least someone could be is, is the most someone could be is 58 pounds less than me at 198 pounds. And I don't see how they can give up that much muscle and still beat me. Although it's been done before, I feel that heavyweight um, will be the most successful as a professional, as well as should do, should win top honors in most national shows, I'd say. And the heavyweights are on stage. This is what we've been waiting for. Dave Palumbo, 27 years old. He's up 33 pounds, he says, Sean, in one year. Well, I'd, I'd like to know what the heck he's doing. <laughs> he says he got into bodybuilding to look good at the beach. I think he took it a little bit too far. <laughs> This guy is a monster, 258 pounds. For a contest of this size, uh, he needs to be on a pro stage. We asked him about his appearance in the movie Batman Forever. Probably about eight months ago, I, I got a little stint filming in the new Batman Forever movie. Uh, and I was in uh, one of the hoodlums in uh, Tommy Lee Jones' Two-Faced Gang. And uh, we get to go around beating up people and, and the like. I guess the perfect part for, for me, right? <laughs> He's not beating up nobody. This guy is a former medical student. He's got a lot of brains behind all of that, Braun. Really wants to earn his pro card tonight, Sean. Really after it. Well, he's on the right track, and he's got the mass in all the right places. Now what he needs to work on is his shape and his structure and symmetry. Maybe back up off of the heavy poundage and work on that structure. Taper down the waist, build up the calves. He'll be right on cue. Dave Palumbo, one of our top heavyweights. And happy with his performance tonight here in Washington. The men's heavyweight class, the results are in, and Big David Palumbo is our champion. NPC judge Ken Taylor tells us why Palumbo edged out Billy Wilmore. David won over William for a lot of different reasons, basically 258 reasons. 258 pounds in a junior level competition is unbelievable. One of the biggest heavyweight classes we've ever seen. Definitely one of the most thickest and most massive heavyweight bodybuilders we've ever seen before. A lot of people in the audience were calling him Dorian-like. This guy was unbelievable. He won the class just by outmassing the rest of his field. Coming up next, all the class winners gather for the pose down, so stay with us. Billy Stalling certainly deserving of the most muscular award. He's in the pose down along with Dave Palumbo, Tommy Horn, Chuck Carter, and Danny's son. Ken Taylor analyzes tonight's competition at the Junior Nationals. The judges are going to have a really tough task in the overall pose down tonight. We've got a 258 pounder in the heavyweight who's going to try to outmass the rest of the class champions. Willie, our light heavyweight champion, would have to be one of my favorites because his symmetry and his total package is just so overwhelming. The other three class champions are very, very good. They've come past a lot of competitors in the pre-judging, so I ought to make it for an interesting decision tonight. And again, the judges will have a very tough decision in picking the 1995 Junior National overall champion. And here we go with the mandatory pose down at the Junior Nationals from right to left. Danny Sun, Chuck Carter, Tommy Horn, Willie Stalling, and Dave Palumbo. Well, this is going to come down to either mass or shape and symmetry. Mass in the form of Big Dave Palumbo at 258 pounds, or shape and symmetry in the form of Willie Stallings, 198 pounds, pushing the envelope. He's right at the crest of being a heavyweight, but very symmetrical and very tough to beat. Dave Palumbo moves right out in front. He's going to have a hard time with Willie Stalling. Well, right now, the Georges are just, they're tabulating their scores. These guys are fighting and jockeying for the best position on the stage, going from right to left, left to right. And what you'll find is generally the guy that's the most confident in his presentation doesn't run around, doesn't have to move around. He waits for people to come to him. You see the little guy going over to the big guy, the big guy going over to the other guys. He's trying to be the center of attention right now. And what it's going to come down to, like I said, either you like the mass or you like the class. Our middleweight has jumped down in front, Tommy Horn. He has a great physique. What kind of shot does he have here? Well, it just really, Willie Stallings and Dave Palumbo are so much a step above the rest that the other guys are just up there. They're like pace cars on, <laughs> on the racetrack. This is coming down to the heavy and the light heavyweight. Sean, and it's a hot night here in Washington, D.C. These guys are exhausted right they're now. They're not only exhausted, Joe. These guys are thirsty, and they're hungry, and they got all this anxiety, and it's coming out right here. All right, here's the announcement for our champion at the Junior Nationals. 1995 Junior National 
bodybuilding champion. He ain't too far from home. Will he score? Willie Stalling, the overall champion at the 95 Junior Nationals, and he is just ripped. He had a great physique. Right now, the weight of the world has been lifted off his shoulders. He's in disbelief, standing up there with the president of the NPC, Jim Mannion. This is what he's been working for. Also on stage, Steve Ward, representative of Champion Nutrition, promoters Pam Betts and Magic Dane. And we'll be back to talk with our overall champion after this break.